It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to another tutorial where we're going to talk about one of the new features in Death and Dishonor. And that feature is called Equipment Conversion. Well, let's talk about it. So first of all, Equipment Conversion allows you to convert your tank or plane variants to either upgraded models or variations. Best way to demonstrate that is just to show you what I mean. So in this case, we have got Panzer II. So I'll show you here. We have eight Panzer IIs and we have 720 Panzer ones. So what I would like to do is convert some of our existing equipment um, towards making those, well, making, in this case, uh, let's just choose some. Let's go for the light self-propelled artillery two. So right now, if we make a production line and we assign factories, what it'll just do is it will produce this tank and it'll be added to the stockpile. Now, if I click this button, it will convert existing equipment that I've currently got in the stockpile towards this variant in this case. So we're able to convert uh, Panzer 1s, 720 of them, and 8 of our Panzer 2s into the light self-propelled artillery 2. So just to cover one of the extra benefits of doing this is you can convert one old variant we'll come back to that in a moment so i select this and now per day 15 of our existing tanks will now be converted to light self-propelled artillery be aware as well that light tanks don't require tungsten but self-propelled artillery do so as it makes you aware that you can see there's an extra production cost that makes you aware right 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 at the very top so we'll wait one day as you can see, it's converted them now, and you can see in the stockpile that we now have 15 self-propelled artilleries. Okay, there's also another way you can uh, change, and that's with variants. So let's say we've got light tanks in this case. Actually, what we'll do is we'll get the Panzer ones in this case, and we'll make a variant that's very reliable and has a better engine, and we'll select it. So, oh, I convert in that case. I didn't mean to do that. Oops, let me go back to what it was. Light tank 2... We'll make the variant. There we go. So in this case, if we're producing this, we're producing the Panzer I variant that we just made up, okay? And we're producing four of those a week. Now, if I select this button, it will convert existing Panzer ones to this variant, which, as you can probably see, is significantly quicker. So that means that any existing Panzers will now get the benefit of extra reliability and extra speed. This also applies for planes as well. So if you produce planes... You can make a variant and then select this button here once you've got a variant to convert the existing stockpile. At the moment, we've not got any extra BF 109s, so we can't convert them. But you can do that for planes as well. I'm a bit lost on how to call this. I guess in this case, it's converting upgrades. So we're converting an upgrade to a tank destroyer or a self plot artillery. And then there's another one that's upgrading to a variant as such. Yeah, that's the best way to explain it. There are some technologies that do feed into this to increase the production speed of upgrading. Those technologies are the first dispersed industry, which increases upgrade speed by 20%. And there are also two new technologies with Death and Dishonor. You've got improved equipment conversion and then advanced equipment conversion, which increase upgrades by a massive 40% each. So a maximum, if you go for dispersed industry one and the one and two upgrades, you can get a maximum conversion speed of 100% improvement. So twice as fast. Massive. Now, why would you do this? So why would you do this? It, in, in eventuality, when you convert your light tanks to mediums, you might find yourself with quite a large amount of Panzer twos. And the question is, what do you do with them? Well, in all fairness, it might be worthwhile to convert them to self-propelled or anti-tanks, or maybe even anti-airs, and build them within your existing tank division to keep the existing speed, as well as keep the armor, as well as give it more rolls as such. So it keeps those old models that you've still got still alive by converting them forward. Be aware, upgrades only work for different for the different models. So as you can see here, lights can be converted to different variants of lights, mediums to mediums, and heavy to heavies. You can't convert a tank destroyer of a Panzer III, sorry, a Panzer II into a Panzer III tank destroyer. It doesn't work that. They have to be kept in the same variant. But the good news is if you wanted to make a, let's say, a, is it Jade Panther? In this case, you could use a Panzer IV for that, but you couldn't use a Panzer III. Remember, you can only do one old model for the upgrades that you can do. 
And there you go. And there's the ability to upgrade and get variants. I will definitely be using the ability to upgrade for variants. That feels like an amazing ability. So if I assign just one factory and convert all models to take advantage of the extra stats, that's something I definitely will use. Still not very sold, though, on my ability to upgrade to different variations of tanks, though. I can't really see how I would use that in-game. So, I guess, is this useful? I, in my honest opinion, I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to test this out some more. I'll give it a little, give it, give it a little bit, of, a few tries in a few games, and then I will get back to you guys, and I'll let you guys know. Any further questions about upgrades or variants? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a good day. See you soon. Bye bye.